Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today guys, we're looking at a very good budget deck you can play right now in the standard format. That is going to be the Flare Striker Libero Cinderace here. This deck is a great budget deck as stated. There is no Dedenne, no Crobat in the deck. We're playing on a Cinchino engine, which is very good thanks to Level Ball, allowing us to find our Score Bunnies, Reboots, and our Minchino and Cinchinos. This deck is very powerful. The whole idea is you use Libero. When you move Cinderace from your bench to your active, you can attach up the two Fire Energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So the idea is we get Fire in the discard through, you know, Make Do or Giant hearth or quick ball we move cinderace to the active spot and then we attach for turn and the attachment for turn is actually going to be recycle energy which basically allows us to use multiple cinderace a turn because cinderace has a one retreat so after we do flare striker cinderace lives we can retreat the cinderace back to the bench um with the recycle energy go to a new one put the two fires back that we discarded with flare striker reattach them put the recycle back on and loop it every single turn um cinderace has some pretty cool stuff it does have 170 hp so stuff like urshifu v max might not be able to one shot you as easily and uh, it's a very cool budget deck so freaking the video guys course show to this monster car cabin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdcgo pack codes get them over at car cabin car cabin sells pdcgo codes online for the cheapest, so if you guys are looking to pick up any set codes like Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage, Storm Shell Base Set, Rebel Clash, any of the Sun and Moon sets or the XY sets, whatever, or you're looking for a promo sleeve GX V code or a uh, Danny Train Toolkit code, get them over at Card Cabin. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin, guys. Check them out. Use code LDF. Also, if you want to check out the articles I've posted over there, uh, you can give them a read if you want. They're um, also video articles now, so if you want to re watch those, that'd be appreciated. Uh, so let's look at the list. So this is what I'm rocking with. Now, this Cinderace Cinchino deck has been doing really well in online tournaments. There are online tournaments hosted on Play.Limitless that are Sword and Shield on tournaments. Yes, people hate this format so much because of tag teams that people are hosting actual post rotation formats, which is not happening until like another like four or five months from now. So very long time people already can't wait for Sword shield on and this cinderace cinchino deck actually is being used and all it's actually performing very well it's one of the best decks in that format currently at the moment um and now in our standard format it's not bad either of course stuff like adp will still give you a hard time but you are a fire type so you do easily knock out those zacians and those mawiles and stuff um, and we're gonna be using cinchino to set up again level ball makes this deck go together um, since it can find all your low HP Pokemon. There is Snorlax in deck with Gourmandize to set up. Obviously, if it's in your active spot, you can draw cards until you have seven in your hand, but then your ability or your turn ends if you do this ability, which is fine. We can use this to build up a hand, try to get a rare candy Cinderace. Another very important card in the deck is U-Turn Board. Put this on a Cinchino, and then you bring in the active when a Cinderace gets knocked out, um, and then you evolve on the bench. This U-Turn will give your Cinchino a free retreat cost, and then you move that Cinchino to your Cinderace, attach recycle, Libero the ability, the energy on, and then attacks. So that's why the U-turn board is very important. I almost want to play three of them. It's like that good of a card. Um, another important card, obviously, is going to be Giant Hearth to get two fire energy in your hand, which you can then discard with Make Do or Quick Ball or Research. And then we got five fire energies and then two copies of Recycle Energy, as Recycle Energy allows you to loop Cinderace every single turn. We do have to play a Mew, of course, because G Max Rapid Flow is very bad for this deck. Um, so we have to play Mew. Honestly, playing two might be good too, just to make sure you don't get one shot. Uh, you don't get body by G-Max Rapid Flow. And of course, we got four Quick Balls, four Level Ball, two Evil Wind Sense, one Calm for the Pokemon Search, two Rod. I am playing a Pal Pad in the deck. Uh, one of the other issues with Cinchino's Make Do is you have to discard a card from your hand. Sometimes you just discard excess supporter cards to draw two cards. You can get them back with Pal Pad, so that's why we do play the two. We play the Pal Pad. Uh, I am playing a Stamp in the deck for like a comeback card. Um, you know, as a Stage 2 deck, you might be able to slower. You know, your opponent might take, you know, two prizes by the time you actually get your first attack off with Cinderace. So sometimes you can stamp your opponent to a low hand size to try to make a comeback. And, you know, Bird Keeper, a lot of supporters, as you can see, you know, the staple boss research, Marnie. Rose is in the deck because it is a Stage 2 deck. Um, and then I am playing Bruno. I'm trying this out. Uh, Bruno's a great comeback card, of course. Something gets knocked out, you can shuffle your hand in your deck, draw seven cards. Could be pretty good um, in this deck. Um, the reason we're not playing a lot of research is because we're building up big hand sizes with Snorlax and Cinchino. You don't want to discard your entire hand, so just having one is fine. A bird Keeper is really good. Not only can it move Snorlax, we don't play any Switch or Scoop up net. Um, so Snorlax can get stuck in the active. We can Bird Keeper move it. But this also lets you move into your Cinderace and loop the active again. If the active isn't getting knocked out and you actually don't have a way to, you know, chain another Cinderace, you can Bird Keeper into Cinchino, U-turn board it, go back to Cinderace. 
then put the energy back on. So Bird Keeper can be really good in this deck uh, for those reasons. But let's go try the deck out and see it in action. I get into our first match. We are up against an Urshifu deck here, which is kind of scary because the problem with the Urshifu matchup is G-Max Rapid Flow. If we don't get Mew in play, which never mind we do, but if, yeah, Mew not being in play in this matchup pretty much loses us the game because G-Max Rapid Flow completely destroys our deck. Apps, like, just, we, we don't stand a chance if Mew is not in play, so it's fine. Um, but we can definitely beat this. We do have Snorlax we can hopefully go into here. Our opening hand is not that bad, actually, either. We have quite a bit of bench Pokemon. Um, do we want to bench the Mew right away? I think we do, because we're probably going to get the Urshifu down. Oh, maybe not. That's unfortunate. We are marting them here, so they're, whatever hand they have is going to go away anyways, but that is pretty good. Giant Hearth, huge draw. All right, level ball for... We'll get Mancino. Number two, just make sure we have a couple in play. Well, we don't have to bench Mew just yet. Be well, they can't even Marnie this turn. Or boss, yeah, we'll bench Mew now, I guess. Just, just to be safe. All right, well, Marnie here. Okay, we didn't get any energy, but we can retreat here. We didn't get a Snorlax either, which kind of sucks. Well, Giant Hearthway the boss. What's the hard retreat? The Minchino. The next turn we can retreat again or maybe we can no we can giant hearth next turn if we can draw well enough we might actually be able to just go cinderace which would be good um would be pretty good so we'll see what ends up happening here not getting snorlax down was unfortunate would have liked to have seen snorlax there to gourmandize but it is what it is my opponent can now set up a little bit better now the stone energy does that ever make a difference on urshifu urshifu stone energy gives it 350 hp 190 no it doesn't actually so we can still two shot the urshifus as long as they don't play Cheryl, we should be okay. Right, Cheryl will be bad. Oh, they play Crushing Hammer in their deck. Oh, no. Not the Urshifu deck. Not even now. Urshifu's starting to play Crushing Hammer. Oh, and they don't... Well, they can't knock out my uh, Minchino right now, which is good. All right, let's just draw Sinchino or a Quick Ball here so I can... So I don't have to deal with that Giant Hearth bump. Let's see. Nope. Do a boss. Not it. No. Oh. We could still Marnie into it, but I think I just want to make sure we get the energy in the discard. So we're just going to attach to the Mancino here and just Marnie. See what we looking at here. Good stuff. Good stuff, for sure. Involve Sinchino. Get Snorlax. Retreat. Get a Cinderace down. Yeah, definitely want to get that down. Cinderace can't get one shot by uh, Urshifu, which is one of the best parts about... Which One of the best parts about it. And we're just Gourmandize. I don't really want to play the reset stamp, so we're just going to go Gourmandize here and see what we get. Okay, no energy or U-turn board, which is unfortunate, but we can make it work. And no, this isn't terrible, I guess. We'll see. We have Bruno to fall back on, so it's all good. We'll see what my opponent does here. Would have been actually nice to kill the Crowback, because then we just got knocked out Urshifu, and then we could just boss knock out, like, Octillery or something, or the Remory, so it's unfortunate. They could play Empoleon. Empoleon would be a little... I mean, well, Empoleon V doesn't shut off Sinchino or, Limp or Cinderace, but it would be still annoying. All right, good thing we have the Mew in play. Speaking of which, hopefully they don't actually boss my Mew this turn. Um, that'd be greatly appreciated. We'll see what they end up calming for here. Most likely a Dedenne. They could also get a Octillery here, and then they can go Karina's Focus. I'm assuming that's what they're getting. Yeah, the Swell is really annoying, though, because it's preventing us from being able to use our giant Hearth. Which is prevent us from attacking with Cinderace. Okay, switch. What is the last card in their hand? Is it a Marnie? It is not. Okay, they actually didn't have a supporter. That's pretty good. All right, cool beans. They should have gotten Octillery there instead of another thing. Because we can't ever one-shot this. All right, we just need to attack them here. There's the U-turn board. Very good draw right there. All right, we can level ball here for another Cinchino. The Giant Hearth is perfect discard bait. You know what? Maybe the Swell was good for something. Maybe that maybe that chaotic spell was actually you know actually good for something instead of just being trash. Um, we'll do make two first, get rid of the giant hearth, and then we'll do the Bruno. Okay. We got Palpad. Don't really want to play that, so we're gonna Bruno. Could have played the U-turn board actually. Potentially might have been okay, but I don't think I want to. Oh, we didn't get an energy off that. Uh oh, that's not good. Not good. Not good. We're at a boss, I guess. Come on, give me an energy. Dang it. Not like this, bro. Not like this. 
That's really bad. Not getting energy there is really, really, really bad. That's super awkward. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I um, don't know what to say. Just let him knock out the Cinchino, I guess. Sure. That's super unfortunate. Get whiffing the energy there is so bad. Oh my god. We can still win, but that just makes our win con even harder. But technically, we can win if we just attack every single turn, which shouldn't be too hard to do. But not getting the attack there is really bad. That's super unfortunate. Very, very big whiff. Maybe we should have done make do before the Bruno, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. Maybe we should have actually just gave him the other Cinchino because they didn't have... It looks like they might not have had the KO there. I don't know. Let's see we top deck here. Okay. We have the Rosa to guarantee the attack. We need to find the Recycle Energy, though. That's what we need to find. We need to find Recycle. We have a Trainer. What's the best Trainer to grab here? Palpad, maybe? Yeah, I don't mind Palpad, actually. I wouldn't mind having the boss back in the deck, you know? Get back boss and Bruno. Put that on, make do away the Snorlax. We'll save the rod for when they knock out Mew. Yep, no, attach, treat. We get the hit on them, and there is a chance they don't KO me here. They can't knock out G-Max Rapid Flow, so if they don't have a way to move into another... If they don't have a way to go into Gale Throw, but even Gale Throws can't one-shot me, so... We're actually still in a good spot, I think. We might be a little far behind because of that energy with the last turn, but because they can't one-shot Cinderace, we might not actually be in that bad of a spot. They could still boss around me, though. We still have all of our quick balls. We still have... We have one level ball. We still have calm, so... If they do decide to knock out my... If they knock out my Mew... We have an out to it. Okay, they have an escape rope. Give them the other Cinderace, because we have the energy on this one, so that's fine. They could get a crushing hammer hedge, though, on the bench Cinderace, which would mess this plane up a little bit, but they might not have it. They seem to be in top deck mode, so it's fine. Plus, we still have recycle. We can still also we can raw the energy back in the deck, too, if we want. We still have a U-turn board, so we can still move this. I just don't want to give them a I don't want to give them a prize, right? We want to try to deny them as many prizes as possible. Ooh, they had a Cheryl, but that's going to move all their energy. Why would they attach that stone energy before the Cheryl is beyond me? All right, let's go. That's kind of a big misplay on my opponent's end, and that's really good. This is where getting that boss back there might be really nice. We can try to make do into it, and then I can try to boss the... Uh, we can boss that Urshifu up. That's pretty good. That's a good Cheryl for us. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. Hopefully, they only play one Cheryl, by the way. Cheryl could make things complicated, but yeah, that was a pretty good turn. Okay, they're going to have the Urshfu. I don't mind getting a hit on this either, though, to be honest. Um, not terrible. We do get rid of Reboot. Okay, we didn't get boss. Let's retreat. We need to find the Recycle Energy, though. Pretty, We need to find that soon. Sooner rather than later. But we can't play Marnie, obviously. We can't research either, so we're just going to hit them for 190. Um, if we get energy next turn, we could rod energy back in the deck, I guess. But again, I want to save that rod for Mew. Rod is preserved for my Mew. Because if Mew ever gets knocked out, then they can try to G-Max Rapid Flow two of my Cinchinos. Right, so it's not good. Okay, they are going to Marnie me, which is fine. This hand was pretty bad otherwise. We can probably find Recycle here. Uh, nope, we got an energy though. We got Bird Keeper too, that works. And there's Boss too. So if they don't attack me here, we can boss them up. Okay, they do have Crobat. Will they be able to find a... Another rope this turn. Rope is the only thing that scares me a little bit, but nope. We just see a switch. And what else? Just a Gale Thrust. Okay. So we're going to Bird Keeper here. We're going to Bird Keeper into the Cinchino, I think. I don't know Recycle Energy. Uh, we'll make do away the Calm, I guess. Actually, probably just get rid of Rosa, actually. Nah, we're out of the calm. I think that's I think that's correct. I don't know. I want to keep my supporters around. Okay, still no. Damn, still no uh, thing. They could play a Mew, so they could finish off my Cinderace at any point. But I kind of like just feeding them the fresh Cinderace here. They can't knock it out, right? They can never one shot it, so it's all good. This is Flare Starter. 
Yeah, we can still two-shot them. If they get another stone energy on, I guess we can't two-shot them. But we should be fine. And the next turn, we can go in the Cinderace. We're vibing, we're vibing. We need to find the recycle energy. I'm pretty sure they're in the deck. I know I saw them. It should be there. I don't know where they're hiding. Is that a powerful energy? Whoa, what is that for? Well, that's not going to let them one-shot me because it's not, you know, that doesn't work on fighting Pokemon, so that will make a difference. There's a research. That's not a Cheryl, so we should be able to KO them here. They do play Mew. Very interesting that they didn't bench the Mew there because they could have used the Mew at any point to finish off the Cinderace. So that's actually really good they didn't bench that. I would have benched it, but I guess they want bench for another Urshifu, I guess, because that's heavily damaged. There's a Hammerheads on my bench guy. That's fine. Is it fine? Maybe not, actually. Maybe it's not fine. Okay, they do get the switch to attack me. Hmm. Okay, I see we top deck here. Not Cinderace. All right, we'll make do. We'll get rid of one of the quick balls. Finally, we got their cycle energy, guys. We're chilling. I think we, if we just keep denying them prizes here, I'm feeling pretty good. We're just going to retreat into this. We finally got their cycle energy. So now we should be able to just kind of set up our wing con here. Right, now we just go do this, save the hand, knock him out. Now we should be able to win the game because Recycle Energy is always going to be in play, right? Well, they could boss around me, but we have the U-turn board, so we're chilling. We should, maybe should put the U-turn board on the Mew, though, to be honest, because I feel like it's always a boss target. There's another U-turn. There's another Sinchino. Um, Yeah, we can bench that. We'll see what my opponent ends up doing here. We're very far ahead of the match, right? The fact that they can't one-shot Cinderace is really big and... um. They haven't taken a prize in a while, so I'm feeling pretty good about my spot. There's a Marnie. That's fine. They can't evolve this guy because if they do, they get knocked out. They can hit me for 30 damage if they want to try to soften me up for the for the Gale Thrust. But whatever they feed me, we're going to knock out. And they, Oh, no, they're actually just going to evolve right away. All right, so now we just need to find Boss to win the game. But if not, that's probably going to be the active, actually, so it doesn't matter. They get another lucky hammerheads. Are they three for three on the hammerheads? I don't know. I don't know. Look, people play Nurshifu. Don't play Crushing Hammer, please. Just don't don't bring Crushing Hammer back into the meta, man. Please, just just leave it alone. Just leave that crap alone. I'm surprised they haven't grabbed Octillery yet. Maybe they prized it. I'm surprised they haven't grabbed it yet because I'm assuming they play Karina's Focus. All right, uh, that's game then, right? Yeah, that's game. They they attack me. Game over. They can't even one shot me. All right, you know what? Despite, you know, whiffing that one turn of attacking, things may have gone a little shaky, but I think we're going to win this. We just need to find a we need to find a switching card here. So, what do we want to do? We'll make do first. I don't want to get rid of too many quick balls because we need from you, but we're going to thin out the deck anyways. Okay, we didn't get you turn board there. I think we just slap the recycle on and let him knock me out. We could Marnie for the U-turn board, but they have a one-card hand, right? And they've played one research, two Marnie. They could have another Cheryl. That could buy them a turn. I'm just going to put this on and let them knock me out. I'm not going to Marnie them. They have a one-card hand. We'll let them knock. We'll let them KO me. It's fine. I guess that hammer did make a difference. I bought my opponent one more turn. Now, we could have Marnied and went for the U-turn uh, board. And maybe we were actually guaranteed to find it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should have Marnie to find the U-turn board. Maybe we could have went Marnie make do, I guess. I don't know. Let's just... Well, actually, were we guaranteed the U-turn? Because we had another Sinchino in the deck. You know, maybe we actually should have... We should have Marnie there, actually. Fine, though. We're still going to win this, I think. Like, we're still, like, pretty far ahead. I don't think we're losing. I bought my point of one more turn, which doesn't really matter at this point, thanks to the Mew being in play. Speaking of which, I wonder if they're... Oh, they are doing it. They're G-Max Rabbit Floyd. Unfortunately, my opponent, I guess they do not see the Mew in play. So my guy, that is not going to work. Yeah, sorry, sorry to break, sorry to burst your bubble, but the uh, the Mew walls you. And now we have game. Now we have game. Now we have game. All right, cool. There you go. Cinderace takes down my opponent's Rapid Strike Urshifu deck, just like that. So maybe this matchup's actually really good, thanks to the fact they can't one shot you. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a our start was fine, but we just we whiffed that one turn of attacking, but. The fact that they can't one-shot me just made it super easy to win. We pretty much almost won the game without them taking a single Cinderace out. At, you know, almost got there. Technically almost, but there you go. Nice little first game, and that's how the deck rocks. All right, here we go. Let's get into the match here with Cinderace. Got that first game win there against the Rapid Strike Urshifu deck. But let's see if we can get a second win here. Okay, all right. 
this is a pretty good opening hand. We can actually start with Mincino and retreat it to get the energy in the discard. Yeah, this hand's insane. This is a very good hand. Um, all right, we're against a Welder deck. So let's level ball for Reboot. Or Score Bunny, sorry, not Reboot. And then we will retreat the Mincino, get the energy in the discard, go into the Snorlax, and do a nice fat Gormandai's. We need a lot if we want to get a knockout um, on the Volcanian, but that includes finding Bird Keeper, right? This is one of the only things I don't like about the Snorlax is it can get stuck in the active very easily, um, which is annoying. But I think if we just set up, we should be fine. Ooh, my opponent does have a lot. They're probably going to boss my Cinderace. I might hold off on Rare Candy for a turn. We'll see. I want the Snorlax to get knocked out by the Senescorch next turn. We'll see if they have a boss, though. Um, I do try to maybe want to get another Mancino down. If I can. Let's see what we draw. There's the Bruno. Okay, I don't really want to play that. We do have the Giant Hearth, which I do want to play. Well, one thing we can do... I guess we can go Cinderace, because we can force my opponent. They need a switch, Center Scorch, VMAX, Energy to knock me out here. And a boss, so that's very unlikely. I do want to do Make Do, but I also need a Giant Hearth. I think we have to get rid of the... Evo Incense, I think, because we want to be able to get Giant Hearth off here to get energy in play. And we can make do it away. Yeah, we need to make sure we're getting the energy in the discard. So now we're set up thanks to their Giant Hearth. So we can go attach, Gourmandize. See what we get here. Okay, more supporters. The more the merrier, I guess, as long as my opponent doesn't play Marnie. So hopefully Snorlax goes down this turn. It did its job. Set up. Oh, they have the Sun Scorch. So they need Switch, Energy, Boss, Escape Rope. Ooh, that kind of works too. We'll just feed him the Cinchino, though. That's fine. Let him knock out the Cinchino here. They could have a boss in their hand, though. I mean, bro, if they actually had everything they needed to knock out Cinderace, bro. This game, is, this game is cursed. This game is cursed. But then we can go Rosa for U-turn board. So it's not the big deal. But it is pretty annoying if they do actually have a boss here to follow up with. Okay, good. That's fine. We get to keep Snorax for later, which is decent. Um, now we have to bring in the Score Bunny. Maybe we should have actually let him knock out Score Bunny, to be honest. No, that's not a good idea. We can go Rosa. We get Mancino. Um, We'll get U-Turn board right now, I think, on the Score Bunny. Fine. We'll go here. We could just hard retreat, but we don't have the Recycle Energy, so I'm just going to use this turn. Treat and Cinderace. And we, get the, we get the first hit off here. On the center scorch, which is good. We have another Cinderace coming down. I'll put that there. We'll flare striker. So they will knock me out, but then we knock them out in return. And we are, as long as we just keep looping Cinderace, we should be good. So I'm going to Rosa next turn for a Score Bunny and a Cinchino. We should be good to win the game. As long as we just keep looping stuff here. There's a quick ball, gets rid of a fire energy. We'll see what they end up doing this turn. Most likely just knock out my active. They need to make sure they get the center scorch in play. But I mean, at this rate, we just keep swinging with Cinderace. We should be good. Oh, they do have double, which is a bit of an ace in the hole for my opponent. That can be a little annoying to deal with. Uh, they are running out of energy, though, I would say. They're down seven energy, eight, nine. They have, what, like two energy left in their deck. So, yeah, three energy in the discard. Oh, they have a fire crystal. Is the last card in their hand really a welder? No, okay. That's going to do an A, so that's good. Fire Crystal's gone, so that's... Yeah, they have, like, what, two energy left for the double? The double probably won't attack me in the late game anyways. But if we just two-shot the Center Scorch, should be good. We can also knock out Center Scorch and then, like, knock out Dene or Crobat or something. So we don't have to just knock out the double. The double having to get two-shot, though, is a little annoying. But we knock out the Center Scorch. Should be fine. We'll see what my opponent ends up doing here, though. Yeah, there's the other Center Scorch. Now we can just go knock out Center Scorch, knock out Center Scorch. We can just try to set up a boss play. Okay, they're setting up a lot here. Um, oh, they do have the welder, so they are going to welder to the double, which is a little annoying. Um, we knock out the sense course, the double will one shot me, which is kind of a problem. We knock out their sense course, though. We need to make sure we're getting more Cinderace in place. Now we need to see, keep making sure we're keeping up in the prize trade here. And we have a Snorlax to fall back on, right? We have a stamp in the deck, too. Another Minchino is pretty good. Go we'll Rosa here for. Score bunny, level ball. Wouldn't mind getting, um, wouldn't mind getting a, uh, wouldn't mind getting the rod too. That would have been nice, but whatever. Do this. We'll make do. Ooh, almost clicked energy assist. That was close. That would have been pretty disastrous. All right. There's a stamp. 
It's not good enough. So we'll retreat. Get the energy on. Catch. We could stamp them now, which is... I mean, okay, there actually is some value to doing stamp. Because we stamp them now. They have no energy left in the deck, I'm assuming, right? That's 11 energy gap. Yeah, 11 energy is gone. I don't think they play 12. They're down a crystal. We could stamp them to four and make it really hard on them to find a knockout here, right? They would need an energy for double. That's if they play 11 energy. And I don't think they do. Most Senna Scorch lists play 11 energy. And they have used 11. They have five, 10 in play, one in the discard. So if we stamp them now to four cards... They failed to find the energy. We can't get knocked out by the Sun of Scorch because it would only do 160 with one energy on it. So the only thing we're talking about is double. So if we stamp them now, we can prevent them from getting the attack off. I actually think this isn't a bad idea. If, if they don't knock out Cinderace, I'm feeling pretty good. And then we can go Lair Striker. Hopefully this play pays off. We'll see. Make it hard for them to find the energy. There's a level ball. Research. Rod is really good. Okay, good prizes. Really good prizes. Really, really good prizes. Tempted to honestly research here if they do go for it. Yeah, they're going to bring in the Senna Scorch. So, yeah, if they don't have the attack or the knockout, they're just going to G-Max and Inferno me here. And that's not going to do enough. They can only do 160 damage with one more energy. They have to find a Fire Crystal and a Welder to get me here. There is a Eldegoss for Welder. Did they seriously get their last energy? Like, I got to assume they play 11. All right, there we go. Told you, bro. I told you this would pay out. Now we need to get another thing in place. So... I think we have the research here. Yeah, we're going to go research, I think. Or Bird Keeper works too, actually, right? Yeah, Bird Keeper works too. So we can go Level Ball or Reboot. Yeah, this works too. So we can Level Ball for Reboot. We can Retreat. What? Wait, does Bird Keeper work? Yeah, it does. Bird Keeper will work with with, with uh, Cinderace. I'm pretty sure it does. If it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. Get rid of the Marnie, I guess. Did we get anything good? Or Candy Sense. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, Bird Keeper should work, right? Yeah, easy. We got their Cycle Energy too, which is good. We'll play the Rod. Um, Pokemon. We probably should have played the Rod, though, before the... Uh, should have played the rod actually before um before the bird keeper but it's fine we can get rid of the snorlax here but i think we can use her to make do bait so i'm just gonna flare striker and again we do have the option to fall back on snorlax we really have to so it's not that big of a deal so they'll knock me out um we sh do have another cinderace for next turn and we have the u-turn board and recycle energy back so we're gonna win the game next turn if they don't get rid of my hand if if we keep our hand we're gonna win the game it's just that simple um we'll see what happens here giant hearth they have one at oh no they got none left they could have hearthed the energy, I guess. But I still think that sand play was fine. There's a crowback coming down. Uh-oh. What, 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 what would they even get here to stop me? Right? They have to play a reset stamp. That's game. That will be game over. We are going to get the cycle and the U-turn board. We promote the Cinchino. U-turn board the Cinchino. Evolve into Cinderace. Recycle energy. Retreat in. Take a knockout. And that is game. Just like that, we evaporate my opponent's VMAX. And that's pretty much what this deck likes to do. As long as you're set up... It's pretty clean and smooth. You should have an easy time at taking down your opponent's VMAX decks. And just like that, Flare Striker will take the win. The double was kind of scary. Not going to lie, the double was a little scary. Um, but overall, Cinderace got the dub. And even if they knocked me out with double there, we had the boss in hand to just gust the Senna Scorch right back up and knock it out. And there you go. That's how this Cinderace deck pretty much wins games and why it is the perfect budget deck. Anyways, guys, I'm wrapping up today's PCO video here, guys. I got a lot of stuff to do today. So I'll leave with those two matches. Pretty much the perfect two games you could ask for with this deck. But yeah, if you guys want to play a really fun deck, definitely try this out. I think this deck's like main matchup that could be the hardest. The one that I found the hardest was definitely ADP. The problem with ADP is if you start with Snorlax, you only have the Bird Keeper to move it. And Snorlax... Not being able to move means your opponent should be able to Ultimate Ray knock you out unless you find your Bird Keeper. If they knock out the Snorlax with Ultimate Ray, it's not a good thing. So the ADP matchup is still kind of tricky. You can win by knocking out their Zacians and Mawile and Dedenne and Crobats on the bench because they all can get one shot by Fair Striker thanks to the Metal Weak Pokemon or the Fire Weak Pokemon, sorry. But yeah, the ADP matchup is a little sketchy. 
as per expected when you're playing a one prize deck. What do you know? ADP is a bad matchup for one prize decks. What an amazingly designed card. But your matchups are pretty great. I mean, Eternatus, any just VMAX matchup, the Urshifu matchup I've seen there, as long as you have your Mew in play and you don't prize it or anything like that, they can't one-shot your Cinderaces and you should just be able to body them. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's PCO video, guys. If you did, make sure to slap like in the video, subscribe now if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 16 thousand subscribers um check out the socials down below my twitch my twitter my patreon check out car cavern down below of course guys if you do get any code use code ldf they got them for the cheapest and that'll be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in another video tomorrow probably Bye bye